dual sports aren't new. Pretty much any bike back in the day could be a dual sport if you just rode it off-road. Yet for 2018, after a four-year hiatus, Kawasaki has reintroduced its KLX250, with an interesting mix of old and new. The only real difference between the 18 model and the 2014 model, the last year it was offered previously, is that it has a FU with a 34mm throttle body and new engine mapping to match. There is also a digital camo version that has black and grey plastics rather than the standard Kai green, white, as well as blacked out engine cases, cylinder, swing arm, frame, upper four tubes, and rims. Why did it go away after 2014? According to Kawasaki a combination of needing to update to fuel injection and market forces were the culprits. Apparently, there are a lot more things to consider when switching from a carb to five than just swapping them out, like engine mapping and exhaust regulations. After riding the 18K LX250 all day on mostly rocky, dusty dirt roads, we caught up with Croft Long from product development to start at the beginning with this bike. The original ancestor of this modern machine goes back to the late 60s with a couple of street legal small bar or two strokes with sweet names. The Kawasaki Sidewinder and Bison, 